Weeks after Minister of Governance and Parliamentary Affairs Gail Tixer told the United Nations Human Rights Commission that allegations of corruption against Vice President Barat Jadio have not been investigated because there was never a police report filed against him. The Institute for Action Against Discrimination has written to Mr. Clifton Hicken, who is performing the functions of Commissioner of Police to formally launch an investigation into alleged corruption against Vice President Barat Jadio and the VP's friend Su Jian. We kindly request the Diana Police Force, under your esteemed leadership, to launch a formal investigation into the allegations of corruption made against Vice President Bayad Jadio and Su Jian as revealed by Vice News. The evidence presented in their report suggests that high-level officials may be engaging in illicit activities, which must be thoroughly investigated to maintain public trust and uphold the rule of law. The letter states, Vice Chairman and Communication Officer for the Institute for Action Against Discrimination of Rajnarine said that we understand and acknowledge the importance of impartiality and independence within the investigative process. Therefore, we strongly urge you to ensure that this investigation is conducted transparently and without any influence or obstruction. It is vital to instill public confidence by demonstrating that the Guyana Police Force is committed to upholding justice and combating corruption at all levels. Vice News, in 2022, sought to pin Vice President Barad Jadio to a bribery scandal, alleging that the VP accepts bribes to assist Chinese businessmen to gain lucrative public sector projects. The letter has been copied to the United Nations and Mrs. Shalima Ali Hat. Director of Public Prosecutions.